Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we've got another beer tasting video and uh, this was a beer that I, I, I've had many, many years ago. Um, I liked it, it was, it was an okay beer. Uh, and then recently uh, I went to a, a friend's 50th and I had this on wooden cask and I, honestly, it blew my mind. It was superb. So I thought, I've got to go back and try the bottle version. Um, it, obviously, it's not going to be, it's not going to touch the cask, wooden cask, that is, version. Um, but I just thought, let's see what you think about it now, Rob. You know, you know, you know, it's different now than 20 years ago, probably when I last tried it. Um, so, yeah, so when I got myself a bottle, and I'm really looking forward to it, uh, especially after, like I say, I had that, that experience. So I'm gonna crack it open, I'm gonna pour it, I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna get the aroma, I'm gonna taste it and see what it's like. And uh, yeah, this uh, I'm hoping it's gonna surprise me if I'm honest. Anyway, let's get, the, let's get it open, let's get the... It, it was just, it, it, honestly, on the night, it really blew me, blew me away. It was so smooth. It was it was dark, smooth, creamy, full of flavour. Uh, five point six percent, which I think this actually is a five point six percent. Yeah, five point six percent, and it was just brilliant. It really was. So let's get it in the glass. Yeah, that's a nice mahogany, no, dark mahogany colour, um, and it's starting to create a nice off tan looking head Let's try and get it all in there we go there we go all peculiar fixing all peculiar the, the bottles are like a really light brown you can I can actually see through it now I, I thought it was actually a, 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 like a, a black bottle uh, but that's obviously the liquid in it uh, the legend 5.6% unpasteurized and cold filtered um, to protect the truly unique flavor of our beer. So yeah, it looks, honestly, it looks like it did on the night. Dark, mahogany, little bits of ruby, you know, highlights going on there, nice creamy head. I mean, obviously on cask it was a lot more creamier, but this is out of the bottle. Um, just looks, yeah, you can see the, I can see the red hints there. Real mahogany, dark mahogany color. Nice, creamy head. Yeah, what more can I say? Let's go for the aroma. Yeah, okay, malty. You're getting a nice, malty aroma. Some bready malt. I wouldn't really say roasty on the aroma at all. It's got some bready nut malts. It's got a little earthiness coming through. That's probably from the from the hops. I, don't, I haven't got a clue what hops. It probably doesn't tell you on the bottle at all. Uh, I'll, have a look. I'll, I'll try and read that in a minute. Okay, cheers. I think I paid about one pound seventy for this bottle, and well, it was about four pound for the cask on the night. Carbonation really low, which is superb. I love that. It's got the body, the mouthfeel. It's got the flavour, it's got the biscuit, the breadiness, the dark brown bread. It's got the sweetness there as well. And then you've got this underlying bitterness from them hops, which is like an, a nice bitterness, a bit of earthiness going on there. A little bit floral and a little bit dark fruit. That is superb. It really is. I didn't think I'd ever say that. And I'm so glad I've revisited this. Well, I'm so glad on that night I had it on cask and thought I need to get a bottle of this stuff because now 
that is superb. That, to me, if you like malty beers and you like something that's low carbonated, full of flavour, get yourself down to the supermarket and buy a bottle of Feastings All Peculiar. You might think it's like, a, oh, it's an old fashioned drink. It's not, it's lovely. It's actually, it's a sort of, it's like a, another way of putting this is them flavours are very similar to a really good, strong, dark, mild. That is the best way I can describe that beer. And I love dark milds and I think dark milds need to come back and they are coming back slowly. That is very similar because it's mildly hopped, like a mild is, but their malt flavours are superb and everything's balanced and nothing's overpowering. And that is a cracking beer. It's a triple B, traditional beer. Loving it, I really am, fantastic. I'm going to go down, go, sorry, I'm going to go, I'm going to go sit down, I'm going to enjoy that, and the next time I visit a supermarket or anywhere, I'm going to grab a this and keep that in the fridge as a fridge filler, because that is superb, it really, I can't, I'm banging on now. Okay, thanks for watching, cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.